We are so, so excited to welcome in our next guest for the first time this summer, MSG Networks con uh, contributor and MSG PM contributor, Anson Carter, my buddy, my former co-host. It's been a long time, my friend. It is good to see you, and we have so much to talk about, beginning with that Kraken launch because it just looked phenomenal, at least from my perspective. What did you think about how they rolled out that team and the expansion in general and, and just the way that they pretty much showcased Seattle to the world. They really did. I like what they did about Seattle. I was, I was in Seattle a couple of years ago, Michelle, with the family on this boat cruise, a Big Ten boat cruise, and I'm very familiar with all those spots. It was nice to see them shine a little light for the rest of us hockey fans, what Seattle has up to offer. But I was a little surprised they didn't select Carey Price. That would have been my first choice. So that first selection, the price was wrong for the Seattle Kraken. If I'm starting a team, the first selection <laughs> I would have chosen would have been Carey Price. I don't care if he's making ten and a half million dollars. He'd have been the face of my franchise up there in the Pacific Northwest. Hey, so they're being a little frugal up there in Seattle. Let it give us some time. I'm sure they'll, they'll start spending that bread. Uh, our New York Rangers didn't have the best season, but they've already started taking saves to reshape their roster. Ace, what do you think about their moves so far, and what do you think they need to do to be competitive next year? Well, I like what Drew has done, Chris Drury, president and general manager, going out there, getting the rights to sign Barkley Goodrow from the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's got some rings in his finger, so I love the heaviness to his game, the physicality. That's what the New York Rangers were missing last season. They had tons of skill, a lot of sizzle, but not enough steak. He's bringing beef to the landscape now, and also trading for Sammy Blay. That was important, too. I know people are upset that Buchnevich got traded to the St. Louis Blues, but... Bush is a nice player, but they have a lot of players like Bush too. You've got Lafreniere, you've got Capo Caco, you've got Chris Kreider, you've got the Breadman. You've got a lot of guys like that bringing that offense. That's not what the Rangers needed. They need heavy players like Sammy Blay. You go back to when the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup championship, he was a hard player to play against. He was a pain in the rear end, so I like the move so far. You hit the nail on the head. It really seems like Chris Drury has tried to make this Rangers team just harder to play against. How important is that balance to be competitive in the NHL, to have both the skill that they already possess, but to also add that grit as well? It's so critical, Michelle. You look at the Tampa Bay Lightning. It's a copycat league, but these teams have won for a reason. St. Louis Blues played that same smash mouth black and blue hockey, but the Lightning were able to beat you 6-1, 6-2, 6-5, but also shut out a very talented New York Islanders team, won nothing in a closeout game. A couple years ago, before they had you know, the their work handed to them by the Columbus Blue Jackets, this Lightning team wasn't able to win a hockey game that way. Were they able to retool the roster, build their team based on defense, bring physicality to the forefront, and now we're talking with the Tampa Bay Lightning as a two-time Stanley Cup champion. Michelle, you know, that's your old stamping ground there in Tampa Bay. So you should be very familiar <laughs> with this blueprint that Chris Jury is trying to implement right now in New York City. <laughs> I support the New York Rangers now. As, as you should. As you should. You're in New York now, all right? Leave that other stuff in the past. Uh, let's talk about Mika Zibanejad. He is in the final year of his contract. Uh, what do you think the best move is for him? He should re-sign. Uh, you know, you hear rumblings about what a player is looking for. I don't really know, and it's not my job to put my hands in Mika's pockets. I know he's one of the most talented centers in the National Hockey League. Didn't have the start that he was looking for last year. Battling COVID, slow start, not hitting that group to the end of the season. But when he's on his game, he's one of the best players in the National Hockey League, I think. And I would build my team down the middle. You need goaltending. They have that with Shesterkin who I love as a netminder, Georgiev is there also, but you have to have talented centermen down the middle that distribute that puck. Mika Zibanejad is that player, so I think it's critical for the New York Rangers to sign him, but at a number that doesn't really screw up the rest of your salary structure because you've got a lot of good young players that are up for big deals you know, moving forward. You mentioned those good young players up for big deals. Adam Fox, not up yet, but two big defensemen have just inked pretty big contracts. What do you think his next deal looks like, the way he's played so far? It's going to be big. I wish I was Adam Fox, Michelle. You look at Haskin and the deal that he signed in Dallas, massive deal. You look at Kale McCarr, his deal that he signed, a massive deal. But guess what? Those guys never won the Norris Trophy. as the best defense in the National Hockey League. 
Sly as a Fox did that just this year, the New York Rangers, for a non-playoff team. So as this team continues to get better, I don't expect Fox's numbers to get even better also. So it all comes down to fitting under that number. What's most important to him? Is it winning rings or being the best man at Chase Bank, you know, cashing those checks? He's going to balance that now to try to understand and try to understand what makes the most sense to himself as a, as a person. Do I want to win championships or I want to make sure that I, I'm rich, but I'm also winning championships at the same time?